Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of the Unreal Cousins. Now, in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how do you make a simple checkpoint system. So basically, um, we want like a checkpoint right here, and then if the player touches the checkpoint and they reset, they go to the latest checkpoint they touch. So if the latest checkpoint they touch is over here, they reset over there. If it's over here, they reset over there. And um, yeah, all of the checkpoints is going to do is it's going to teleport them. As you can see, I put a trigger box right here. So basically, I'm just going to, later in the video, I'm going to make it so that when the player touches this, it resets them to the last checkpoint they were at. And I'm also going to make a widget in the top corner that has a reset button that just teleports them back to the last checkpoint that they touched. So it's not that hard to do. And I'm using the third person example map for this. But to start, just go to wherever your character is. So I'm using the third person one. Uh, create a new variable called um, checkpoint. Set it as a vector. Because the vectors, those store the x, the y, and the z value. So the location of something. Therefore, you can make it so that... Well, what we're going to do is when the player touches the checkpoint, it sets this variable to be wherever the checkpoint is and then when the player resets it just teleports to whatever the latest value of this is so that way it just knows the exact location so let's compile and save this that's all we we'll need to do in the player uh, let's create our actor so right click blueprint class actor the actors you can put in your scene and they can do stuff like um, player interactions with them and stuff so I'm just gonna call this checkpoint so open it up and we're going to make a cube and then we'll just make it flat like this so this is just the object that the players could walk on and it will save their location for when they reset so now go down to the collision field and change this um, preset here to overlap all dynamic instead of block all dynamic and then um, go to the event graph event begin overlap we want um, cast to third cast to third person Cast the third person character, get player character, and now as the third person character, we want to get that variable we just made in the third person character, which was um, get checkpoint. Now we want to, um, actually sorry, we don't want to get checkpoint, we want to set checkpoint. And what we're going to set it to is the location that we're at right now because the player is just hitting the checkpoint. So get actor location. And the target can be self because this is the actor itself we're in. And yeah, that's basically all. Now, see this um, box trigger I made over here? It's this one right here. I just stretched it out. Um, you can get that and go to the blue level blueprint like this and now um, event begin overlap this one right here we want um, teleport and we're going to get player character or actually we're gonna th we're gonna cast to third person character Okay, I can't spell, but you know, it's okay. So we're gonna cast to it, we're gonna get player character here. And then plug this in here, and we're also going to get checkpoints and plug that in there. Now, 
I believe this uh, this box right here will teleport me so now let's go back to where we made our, our uh, checkpoint and I'll place a few around just so you can see you know put them all over the place uh, put one up here now let's hit play so let's hit this checkpoint here and go over to the the thing yeah I teleported back to it now let's hit this checkpoint and walk into this and I teleport back to that checkpoint let's hit this checkpoint over here and then walk into it and yeah I teleported back to this checkpoint and yeah basically it'll just work wherever you put it so touch this one and go back over there you could do this however you want the setting back to the check checkpoint so if you want to make let's say a widget we could call this reset reset well that's good I guess reset player and then uh, we'll just create a button quickly that we can place in the top here and we'll add on some text we'll say reset we'll scroll down we'll, we'll actually we'll press on the button then we'll scroll down on clicked and basically it's the exact same as what we did before in here so this stuff right here you can just put this wherever and it will reset to the most recent checkpoint you can make a blueprint function library I think but you know for now this will work so actually we'll need to go back to the level blueprint and let's just show this on the event begin play so event begin and this is um, what I'm doing now is just making a widget that has a reset button on it it'll do the same thing as walking into that trigger box uh, create widget and then we'll select our reset one reset and then add to port but yeah there's so many different ways you could do this you could have the player um, reset in so many different ways so you could let's say we just have the player touch this right and then we go up here and then we press the reset button as you can see we just go back if we touch this one right here we go over here we press the reset button we just go back so that's our simple checkpoint system I hope you guys enjoyed this video. That's all I got for today. Uh, make sure to subscribe and like. And yeah, that's the end.